how we're going check out this nice handful of beans I picked for tea tonight this combination of Scarlet Runner which a YouTube subscriber sent me the packet of seeds from Scarlet Runner thanks Dan Latimer they're actually really tasty beans the Scarlet Runner I've also got here some Mangaria Pole beans so that is a handful I've picked for tea tonight fresh out of the garden I pick up a handful every night probably for the last uh, probably four or five days now let's sell tea and I'm also picking like one of these kamakamo every night I pick one this size that's the best way of eating them kamakamo or it's marrow in English kamakamo that's a really tasty meal that us Māori here in New Zealand like to eat either mashed with potato and butter salt and pepper or just boiled and then add salt and pepper and butter to that so that's our kamakamo so I pick those and that every night Right, so I'll just give you a. Some of you guys have been asking. Where's the bloody thing? There it is. Right, so some of you guys have been asking for a tour in my vegetable garden. Actually, nobody asked at all. Just sort of I'll show you anyway. So uh, come with me and I'll, uh, I'll show you my garden. See how it's growing. Or growing. So here I've got one kamakamo plant. Start off in the corner over there, and now it's spread out. I was quite happy just to have this one kamakamo plant. I'll tell you why later as we get to it. Um, these are all my beans, or some of my beans growing. These are the scarlet runner. They got sent me the packet of seeds from Dan Latimer. We've got them heaps on there. I've got about oh maybe 10 or 12 plants growing on here. Scarlet runner. So that's been cropping really well for the last probably week. And also growing on here as you can see is a grey pumpkin vine that's grown over the top we'll get through here and look at this jungle so there's the pumpkin plant there's some more beans growing through here and the pumpkin plant is one growing there now just come up and another one Oh, another two actually just down in here there's one there and one over there so I always try and grow a couple of pumpkin in this garden here yeah noisy neighbors so there's some tomato plants growing you guys remember these are quite small but look at those tomatoes now look Some nice big tomatoes in there growing. There's some more over there. They haven't quite finished pruning this properly. The tomatoes. I've got six plants of those ones. And also got this one here growing. There's those ones. I haven't finished pruning them yet. It's been too hot to come out in the garden the last few weeks, so I'm getting there slowly. But there's a lot of tomatoes on all my plants growing there. And there's my other beans. Those are the Mangaria pole ones. So I'm picking from. So you can see there's quite a few beans in there. 
excuse the noise of my neighbour's vacuum cleaner they tend to like making a noise when I'm trying to do some filming Mangaria pole, very nice beans those ones and wow this is what I was going to show you in here I planted from compost some seeds grew I thought they were going to be pumpkin so I was going to have two pumpkin over here and in the front we saw blue four I was going to grow kamakamo there but then I found out that these plants here are actually kamakamo they've got two there and one growing here I should have pulled this one out over here but I kept it growing as you can see it's it's pretty much filled out this area I'll show you some kamakamo soon but first I'll show you this puha mother plant it's just finished flowering so all the seed pods have all gone to the ground and we should get some puha over winter Ooh, look at those tomato plants look at those tomatoes growing nicely there I think this is a black crim variety could be wrong and so these are kamakamo got a little one growing over here as you can see so I come out here every day have a bit of a look and I'm sure I'm gonna miss some oh shit I picked one from here earlier on and I've got another one here somewhere I've actually got quite a few growing in here but I always make some noise when I'm trying to film oh I mean I tell you and I've got one over here there's one growing there see another couple come more another one over there yeah so that's my kamakamo plants which I thought was pumpkin oh. so unfortunately uh, unfortunately my cucumbers that I grew here didn't do very well uh, for a change, normally I'd do really well with cucumbers in my garden Neighbours next door who's making a noise, he also didn't have a good season this year for cucumbers for some reason so uh, yeah, well that's my garden and that's all the sort of food or kai that I like growing in here, easy to grow and uh, nice summer food to have in your salads and stuff so uh, yeah there you have it there is the tour of my garden the tour that nobody asked to see but I'm showing you anyway so someone uh, wrote a comment when I did the previous video of the garden saying oh no you left it too late nah it's too late you won't grow anything so uh, here check this out now see So yeah guys, that's uh, my garden. I've actually got too much coming come all there. Two plants is more than enough. Three, it's a bit overcrowded. I'm gonna leave it anyway. Uh, yeah. Otherwise when the the flowers come up, it's really hard for the bees to see where the flowers are because it's too much too much leaf. Yay, the sun's out. Right, so there you go, that is the tour of my garden, I'll give you guys an update later on, I'm now going to cut these beans up, we're going to have them for tea tonight, with the kamakamo, and I've got some corn which I actually bought from uh, the growers around here, so 10 for $6 at the moment, sweet corn, beautiful summer, summer food, beautiful summer food, so it's our tea tonight. Hope you guys are having a good one and I'll catch you on the next video which I'm editing right now it's gonna be a good one 
stay tuned, check it out. Don't forget to uh, comment, like and subscribe on my channel. See you guys later. Bye.